What's up guys? In this video, we're going to find out where OBS video recordings are saved. Let's do it. All right, so here I have OBS and what we're going to do is look at the settings, figure out exactly where OBS video recordings are saved, and then look at some best practices for setting up your recordings. Now let's start, oops, there we go, over in our desktop capture. What we're going to do is go to File, Settings, and I'll zoom in here. Essentially, what most of the things we're going to do here is going to be in Output. Now, when you're in Output mode, there's a simple version and there is an advanced version. Let's look at both. If you're new to OBS, stick with the simple version, and we're going to take a look at some of these options. Now, you can see there is a streaming option and a recording option. This today's video, we are talking about recording, but just to remind you, bitrate is essentially the data, the amount of data that is stored every second for your live stream or for your recording. It's essentially like the recording quality. So by default, if you're in simple mode, uh, it, your recording quality will be same as the stream. In simple mode, they're just hiding from you the option to set your own video bitrate. So you can see this is 10,000 kilobits per second, also known as 10 megabits per second. And if you just leave that by default, it's not bad. It's 10 megabits per second. It should be fine. Um, but uh, basically, by default, if you have that set as same as stream, that's going to be the bit rate for your live stream, for your recording, sorry. Now you get a few warnings here by default if you have it set for MP4, which is what I actually like to record in. But I wanted to explain um, some of these warnings that are happening. The first warning is it's saying streaming video bit rate will be set to 6,000, which is the upper limit for the current streaming service. So the streaming service we have set here is Facebook Live. That is why we're getting that, um, that warning. Now that warning goes away. Um, another warning, recordings cannot be paused if the recording quality is set to same as stream. So that's another reason why we might want to set it up as you know lossless quality, for example. When we do that, you got to remember lossless quality generates tremendously large file sizes. So no one usually uses that for a normal stream unless there's some absolutely you know, important reason why you're doing that. Now, just to show you guys what happens when you do lossless quality, click apply, click OK, you start recording, you have the ability to actually pause the recording. And that is pretty cool because when you can pause the recording, you can keep going. You don't have that ability, and I've gotten this question a lot in the comments, you do not have the ability to pause recording when you are in MP4 and other video formats. So just something to keep in mind when uh, you're, you're choosing your settings for streaming and recording. You know, there's different functionality that is becomes available depending on the options that you choose. Now back over here into output, um, what we're gonna do is I generally just keep the recording the same as the stream, and uh, we'll do MP4. But let's take a look at the advanced options really quickly. This opens up a couple more options for your recording. And to answer the question of this video, where are the um, OBS recordings stored? They're stored in this recording path here. So if you wanna change that path, create a folder for your OBS recordings, you can create a new folder that says OBS recordings. You can create that on your desktop. You can create that anywhere you want. Select that folder, and that is where your OBS recordings will show up. Now, the type, if we choose custom, that is when we can actually set the bitrate. And again, the bitrate for your recordings is the quality of your video. So you might stream in a lower resolution that you record in. Because when you're streaming, you're limited by your bandwidth. And so you might wanna do a bandwidth check uh, on Google and just say, you know, check my bandwidth. 
and see how much bandwidth you have available for upload speed. Let's say you have 20 megabits of upload, you should probably only use about half of that. So 10 megabits or less, depending on what your computer can handle. Now, if your computer can handle recording and streaming at the same time, which you can figure out by doing some tests and using the stats, which I'll show in a moment in the view tab, um, you can record video to your local hard drive without affecting bandwidth because it's not streaming anywhere. So you can record in a higher bit rate than you stream at, and then you can upload those higher quality videos to YouTube and Facebook if you so wish. So let's assume we're streaming at 6,000 kilobits per second, right? Six megabits. And let's just record and double that, right? So we'll record in 12,000 kilobits per second, 12 megabits. That's a pretty good, um, in my opinion, a pretty good file size in between 10 to 20 megabits per second because it's high enough quality for YouTube and Facebook. Like right now, this video is actually being recorded at eight megabits per second. I think it looks good. It's not about the quality of this video, the storage size, the upload speeds, and all of that. I find that to be a good workflow for me. So that answers the question of where are these files being stored? If I start a recording real quick and I go ahead and stop the recording, I want to go ahead and show where was that stored. Well, uh, we basically created a folder called OB. Let me just open it up here. Uh, OBS recordings. Where are you? I'm going to pull that up. And then inside that folder, we have, pull it up here, our video file. So there's our video file. That was, where was it stored? It's 226 megabytes. So this was our big one that um, was uncompressed. You have to be careful with that. If we go and start, let's go back and just check everything real quick. If we go to settings, we go to output, recording, double check. This is the file path. We're going to go to, yep, OBS recording, select. That is the file path. Now, the file name itself is uh, generated by uh, basically, it should be the file name of the video. Think is in advanced under recording. So if you wanted to change the file naming format right now, it's just, you know, the month, the day, the time, the hour, the second, and the friendly name that you have associated for it. But let's go ahead and hit start recording. Now, if we look in our folder, this is the file. It's actually being recorded right now. When we hit stop recording, we can go ahead and look at this file. We can see it here. We can hit properties. Now we can see it was only 10 megabytes, so a much smaller file size. And that is ideal. That is an MP4 file. We can upload that right to Facebook, right to YouTube. I hope that makes sense. That is the answer to today's question. We're going to do a lot of OBS tutorials and videos because you guys are asking for them. Where are OBS videos recorded and stored? Right where you tell OBS to in the settings menu. I, one last thing I forgot to mention, the, the OBS stats. So if you go to view stats, you have the ability to look at these stats for your computer and what is being recorded and what is being streamed. So something to think about, because if you uh, cannot record and stream at the same time, you'll take a look at your frames per second, take a look at your CPU usage, take a look at your disk space available your frames dropped, things of that nature to make sure that your computer can handle what you're doing with OBS. If you're having dropped frames, if you are having issues, consider reducing your, your resolution, consider reducing your bit rate, consider you know, reducing the amount of scenes and sources that you have in OBS, and that will help. All right, that's